Hello there. Today we will create a slide presentation using the golden ratio, and the presentation topic will be Spinosaurus. First, get the Spinosaurus image from the web. We will need to remove the image background, and there are websites for that like foddering.com. Also, we need the golden ratio spiral. Get it online and add in your slide. In an empty slide, add the golden ratio spiral. Right-click on the image, and then lock. Next, on the left bar, click on Basics and add a circle. Change its opacity in such way that you can see the lines on the background. Then, increase the circle radius to match one segment of the golden ratio spiral. Take your Spinosaurus, it's time for action. I decided to increase the image size in such a way that the eyes of the beast be positioned at the center of the spiral. Also, I changed its position to don't cross the left big square. Now some finishing touches. For my image, I had to increase the contrast. For that, I went to customize and increase the contrast value. Next, I went toe effects and added a shadow. I changed thy shadow direction to be in top left. Where is the position of the circle? Make the blur radius to be zero and its color to be white, creating a cool effect. The final touch is the circle color. Change its opacity to 100 and the color to gradient. The exact color gradient is up to you. I just play around a little bit until I get the visual that I enjoy. Let's work with the textual part now. I want the text to be in the same eye position of the Spinosaurus, and for that, unlock the golden ratio spiral, flip it, and lock again. In the basics at the left bar, click in add a title. I change the color to red, to be complementary to the green circle. When selecting a typeface and its size, aesthetics and artistic considerations come into play. The ideal combination depends on the desired visual impact. To make this video short, I took my final result to check what are the size and font that I come up after error and trial. The font was Julius Sands 1, and to fit inside the left side box, I choose font size 55. At a certain point, I needed to confirm that the text was properly aligned to the left. To achieve this, I added a white hue over the spiral image. However, an alternative approach would be to decrease the opacity, as we have done previously. For the subtitle, I also want to base my layout on the golden ratio spiral. First unlock the background image, flip the image vertically, and lock it again. For the subtitle, I used the Fira Sands Light with size 33. And finally, the smallest font size was 21. Now remove the image background and congratulations, your Spinosaurus slide is complete. Looking for inspiration to design creative slides for your lecture? Check out the research presentation course at the link below. 